What's up everybody? Uh, still shocked to say it. It's January 5th and we are leaving Livingston making the 12-14 hour drive back up to Maryland for the last three days the January 6th, 7th, and 8th uh, raffle season for the Maryland Sika deer. It was kind of a last minute trip and it was a super last minute thing that Hannah decided to join me. I was going to drive the Prius up and sleep in the Walmart parking lot there in Cambridge but now we got us a nice Airbnb and it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. But we got 12, 14 hours of driving to do and we get there, it'll be after daylight when we get there so we'll probably scrap the morning hunt and start out tomorrow afternoon. But last time I was here I had a bow. Uh, this time I'm holding a youth model 6.5 Creedmoor so feeling a lot more confident about that. But it's kind of like relearning them all over again because late season they're not rutting, they've been chased all year. And there might be a ton of people out, I have no idea. But, long drive and excited to see what the weekend holds. stop and use the bathroom so you longer than I did. might as well go ahead and get some gas while we're here good old pals there's our Washington Monument again back on the Potomac River been on the road a little over nine hours but we're making good time there's the sign I've been waiting to see for a minute we still got a little bit of a drive, and we're gonna be end up getting there about two hours before daylight, so we can't check into our B&B until later in the day anyway, so we're just gonna go to where we're hunting this morning and kick back and take a nap for a little bit. But this is Hannah's first time seeing DC, my second, and I've seen all of it I wanna see once again. I've never been one that cared for bridges very much, so the Bay Bridge here, you know, the five mile long bridge. Yeah, I don't like it. But on the other side, we're just that much closer to Seekerville. Well, we've been driving since 4.30 yesterday and we have made it into Cambridge, Maryland. Still got about a 20 minute drive to the spot I'm gonna hunt this morning. Walking in blind, that's okay. I don't think they uh, bugle this late in the season, but I really don't know. We're gonna find out. Nonetheless, we'll uh, check back in a little after daylight. Fortunately, we've got a little bit of time to go catch a hour or so nap. I've been up since uh, 6.30 yesterday. That's all right. Okay, so it's 9.30 now. We're up because the Sika deer are down. Uh, we're gonna walk that way. All I can tell on Onyx is the woods are different. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but we're gonna go find out. Then I've been playing on Onyx and I found another spot. It's a pretty good walk back in there, but it looks like it goes from woods to open marsh. So I wanna know, I wanna check that out. And then if it's what I hope it is, we'll get out there this afternoon. Didn't hear a ton of what I believe were Sika deer shots, but have heard thousands of thousands of uh, shotgun blasts from duck hunters. So, we're gonna start walking now. See what the day holds.
All right, so the morning hunt is over. Uh, we didn't see anything. We did see a uh, jump to quail, saw a rabbit, squirrel, everything but the quarry we was after. But it ain't supposed to happen on the first morning. That would take all the level of suffer out of it and it wouldn't even be enjoyable. We're gonna go check out another spot and then grab us some lunch and then go back, sit down for the afternoon hunt. Uh, I don't even want it to happen on day one. I'd, like I said, that'd be too easy. Need to work for it a little bit. This stuff absolutely sucks walking through. One missed step and you go up to your knees in mud. You gotta mash the grass down and it's done. There you go. Now then. We've made our way a good bit across the marsh now. A couple hundred yards. The hard part's over. Smooth sailing, easy walking from here. <laughs> Nothing easy about this crap. Seek is living it. I don't know. Gotta get out here. season they'll all be out here for weeks. Really hoping we see something today. It was an adventure getting over here. But we made it. You can see where we're sitting is just a sloppy muddy mess. Chairs are just sunk up in the mud but we've got this I call it porcupine grass because it's real pokey. It's, uh, it's porcupine grass working as a natural blind and I'm guessing my shot's gonna be out at about 200 to 250. I'm very comfortable with that, so no worries there. You know, it's about 3 o'clock now, somewhere in that area. It's going to be two hours before dark. Hopefully something will come out. So here and watch. It's very windy, though. since 12 o'clock it's four o'clock sun's getting ready to start going down and the clouds have covered it and uh, I'm hoping it pays off because we are froze to death we uh, only looked at the temperature didn't account for the wind blowing 20 mile an hour in our face all day got a little sweaty walking in no doubt but who knows it's worth it even if we don't see one it's worth it view out here is awesome and the experience is even better but it would be nice to see one I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled they're hard to spot in this stuff they go from not there to appear in the wide open and then not there again quick you gotta really be fast on it but I'm keeping my eyes out trip out here to me just to watch the sunset but now that the sun's went into hiding maybe a sika deer will come out it's uh they're almost 100 percent nocturnal so this is what we said all day at moy domes these last few moments of daylight it gets harder to see them but we're trying all right well day one over and now we're set alarms and we're gonna get up and go in the morning Try it again. Check in after daylight. Day number two. Getting ready, we just woke up. Uh, I was overslept by 10 minutes, but that's okay. I can't believe I actually woke up on my own after my alarm after that, but feeling good this morning. Going to sit down in the woods and see if we can't find one. I've said it already and I mean it. But I like hunting the woods because we've got a whitetail tag also. And where we're going, we got a good chance at one of those. Maybe. We don't know the area at all. We're just learning. Feeling good, getting ready to go out here and knock one down this morning. You very excited? 
so excited? Mm -hmm. This is your dream vacation, ain't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're back out here in the marshy waters this morning. I hadn't done an interview yet. I forgot about it, but we've heard a bunch of turkeys gobble randomly. And then a bunch of ducks fly over, some squirrel movement, but no, uh, no seeker or whitetail this morning yet. It's probably, what, 7.30. It's thick. They're going to be, if we see one, it's going to be in our lap before we know what happens, which is fine by me. But we've heard a couple shots this morning. One that we think was a Sika, then a bunch of duck shots. We're gonna sit here for a few hours, then we're gonna get up and scout a little this afternoon. Or for the afternoon, rather. So, just keep my eyes peeled. Alright, well, the morning hunt's over. It uh, proved to be fruitless. I'm gonna walk back this property here and uh, check it out just a little bit more before we move on. I've got another spot in mind. We hunted back during the bow season and found a lot of fresh poop in there. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just walking around looking for stuff. But we'll spend our midday scouting and then decide on something for the afternoon and sit down and see what we see. evening hunt here. We uh, jumped a Sika, what, 50 yards from us. It was running. I tried to get on it, but I was unable. But we're in a good spot here. We found some sign, and we've officially seen a deer here now. Uh, we're looking out through here. It's just buck brush and swamp land. This isn't marshy. This is swampy. But I think it's a good spot. I think we got a good chance this evening. The wind was supposed to be in her face. It's swirling real bad, so... Who knows on that one? But we're set up for the evening. We're here for a good while. We found this little bitty high spot in the middle of the swamp, which give us just enough vantage point over the buck brush. Hopeful.
I think we're in the thick woods. We'll probably lose light by about 5.10. So we got a little bit longer left. It's the time that I've waited for. I dear run. There was a guy run a, run a four-wheeler. We're about 300 yards from private ground. He drove a four-wheeler down the private ground to come in for the afternoon hunt and saw a white tail or a Zika one bounce through an opening up in front of us, but then it disappeared in the buck brush. Never came to us. We're gonna sit here, the wind's still swirling. At the moment it's hit me in the face, which is good, but it's still swirling bad. So we're gonna sit here the rest of the evening and see what happens. I think it went down. It was a stag. Yeah, I know. Did you hit it? Shh, shh, shh. Hit the down, baby. Hit the down. Yes! Oh, I pulled the thing off my camera. Oh, I just looked up. I knew I heard big critter walking. It come walking right through here. Oh, I smoked it with the first shot. No, I did, but shot at it running in the road. And then it laid down out there and it was still looking around, so I put a finisher in it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's my first stag right there. I want to go see it. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's put some more shots in there. I told you something. I told you something was I knew it was a bigger critter walking. I could hear it. Do what? What did I say? I wanted one. Oh gosh, I Beautiful be stag. Here for, huh? I won't be able to hear for the next ten years. The one standing up scared me. Yeah. I know it's down, and I know it's down, but we'll still take it real easy. Idea what we're doing, just come up and find a little bit of sign and sit down. Kill one on day two. Yes! Oh, <laughs> Alright, so I come up during the bow season for the first time ever in Maryland, and uh, me and my dad come up and we hunted the five days I took a hind with a bow. If you ain't watched that video, go back and watch it. But we come up, this is the last weekend. I had no, I wanted to come back this last weekend for the rifle season since I was here for the bow season, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to. Uh, I was, I do hardwood. I was in the middle of a hardwood job. And I mean, it was last minute. I asked my homeowners, could I leave in the middle of their job and come up here and do this? They said, yeah. Uh, I was coming up to sleep in a car and do it by myself. My wife decided very, very last minute, surprised me and said she was gonna come with me. Got us an Airbnb. We hunted all all day yesterday hard. 
with no luck. And all day this morning, we jumped one on the way into this spot. And uh, then a four-wheeler come out on the private land a while back and spooked one through somewhere up in here where this one died. Then right here before dark, this one just popped up 20 yards in front of us. I was worried with the uh, with it being as thick as it is, I wouldn't get it on video, and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I got good footage. Uh, absolutely drilled him. What an awesome experience, awesome day, awesome hunt. Whew. Now we got a few hundred yards to drag out. It's not bad. It's not like being out in the marsh, having to drag one out. We're we're up in the woods. We hunted the marsh yesterday, and she uh, she didn't care for that. So, but uh, it's my first stag. Uh, nice spike. Super, super pleased with it. Don't mind it at all that it's a spike, and now I've got a hind tag left and another full day of hunting. So we're gonna go and uh, we was gonna eat some seafood, but we might just go cut this bad boy up because you talk about a delicious critter. These really are beautiful, beautiful animal. All right, now the work begins. Getting ready to skin this guy out here, right here in the backyard of the Airbnb. Uh, when your people are awesome, that's what you do. Unfortunately, they have no trees, but I can do it on the ground. I've done it many times. After a lot of work, over a few minutes, I have a beautiful hide ready to be tanned and made into a quilt or a uh, tapestry or a rug. Don't really know, don't really matter, but I'm saving all parts of it. Um, do the head into a Euro mount, eat all the meat, and make me a rug. If there's food in heaven, right here's what they're gonna serve all day. Seek a backstrap. It's wonderful. Alright, so we woke up this morning, we went out, I was getting everything together for the last morning hunt, and we noticed there wasn't another person parked on the public land where there has been like 20 people every day, so she pulled it up real quick, yeah, uh, Sunday hunting is only allowed on private lands this morning. So that does conclude the 2023 Sika season. So we decided to come out here on the wharf and watch the sunrise. We still have the uh, Airbnb for the night, so we get to drive around and experience what else Cambridge has to offer other than Sika hunting. But nonetheless, thank you for watching the video. Uh, we're gonna cook this bad boy tonight. It's gonna be delicious. And then uh, wake up and drive home in the morning. It's been an awesome trip. So thank you for watching, guys.